everyone, I'm your produce guy, and today, with the holidays approaching, wanted to talk to you about cranberries. Now, many of you, if not all of you, have probably seen those cranberry ads on television with the old guy and the young guy standing in the cranberry bog with their rubber waders on, and uh, those have been uh, informative and good commercials. The, uh, the cranberries are grown in a bog where they berm up, the, uh, they make uh, little mounds of dirt all the way around the cranberry field there. And then, as the cranberries grow and mature, as the harvest is ready uh, to be had, they flood those bogs, fill them with water, and the cranberries come off of the plants and float up on top of the water. And then they're able to harvest those by skimming those off the top of the bog and collecting them. Uh, so it makes the harvest real easy. Now, I have never known, I suppose you could, but I have never known anyone to grow their own cranberries at home. So, most likely, rather than growing your own, you're going to be picking them up at the store. So I want to talk to you today about how to select uh, cranberries at the store. The cranberries generally come in a bag like this. You're not going to find cranberries in a bulk display where you can buy half a pound or, or, what, or uh, whatever amount you want to. You're going to have to pick them up in the bags. So, as you're selecting a bag of cranberries, the first thing you want to do is they set them out there on the shelf. You want to make sure that they're being rotated and so that you're getting the freshest cranberries that they have and they're not, not leaving stuff on the shelf for a long time. You can tell that by looking at the bag and seeing they usually put them uh, where the spray, the water spraying on the produce rack, and so you'll find hard water spots on bags that have been sprayed and let, left to sit there for a while. The, uh, the best thing to do is turn them over. You can see on the back, we've got this clear strip here on the back. Turn the bag over and just inspect the berries and look to see if you've got rotten ones, uh, uh, soft berries in there, shriveled berries. Uh, look through until you find a package with, uh, for the most part, clean berries in there, nice and firm berries. Now what I'd like to do is go ahead and open this bag and we'll sort through some of these and show you how that process goes. Alright, now we're going to be sorting through some cranberries. So I'm just going to pop the bag open here and put a few out on the plate. Not the whole bag, not at this point. Uh, too many on the plate will uh, make it a little more difficult. I always like to do sorting fruits like this on a plate so we can get them all into one level so they're not piled on top of each other. And you can see already that we've come up with uh, some berries that, uh, well, we really wouldn't want to use those in, uh, in our dish that we're going to prepare. So you just want to sort through these. Pick up the firm ones that are ready ready to be used and look great they go into the good bowl and then anything that is soft now even though we looked at this bag on the shelf and it appeared that most of the berries were good in there we're still finding uh, things like this where the berry is just soft and just re really wouldn't want to put that in on your holiday table so uh, we'll sort through these by hand you know cranberries of course are an excellent source of vitamin C. They also are very good for digestive or urinary tract health, if we can say that here on your produce guy. I guess we can, we just did. So uh, you just take little batches like this at a time, get rid of the shriveled ones, put the nice ones in the in the good pile, and go through your bag that way. And pretty soon you'll have, uh, have all your cranberries sorted and be ready to go to, with your uh, recipe. Okay, I've got these cranberries just about sorted and I'm going to go ahead and finish sorting them here in a minute because I'm going to use them in a recipe that, uh, well, it'll be pretty spectacular. I don't know if you've had anything like it before. I've got a cranberry salsa recipe that's going to rock your holidays. Now, typically people use these cranberries and you see them at cranberry jelly or cranberry sauce that's used with your turkey at Thanksgiving. It's a great combination. Fresh cranberries, well, they are a little bit tart or sour and they'll, they'll make you pucker up. And so you typically have some 
uh, sugar, some sort of sugar application that goes with them. You'll notice that at the store, whenever you see cranberry drinks, they're always a cranberry juice cocktail. Not real cranberry juice, because real cranberry juice, these are dry little berries, and when you squeeze them out, uh, it's more of a syrup than a juice. So for that reason, they get mixed with water and have to be called cocktails because they're not pure juice. Anyway, that's our video on cranberries. We sure appreciate you tuning in and checking us out today. Uh, thank you to everyone who's been leaving comments and making suggestions. We love those. Keep those coming. Thanks also to all of you who have subscribed to our channel. And if you haven't yet, please click that button and join us. You can follow us on Facebook at facebook.com slash yourproduceguy. And if you like our channel, please go ahead and box us on your YouTube channel. And thank you to everybody who's done that already. Thanks so much for tuning in today. Be sure and check back soon for that cranberry salsa recipe. I'm telling you, it'll knock your socks off. And always remember, fresh is best. Whoa, that's sour.